Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection, pop culture edition. A very cool uh, cereal bowl, plastic, for the Planet of the Apes franchise from the 1970s. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Uh, let's take a look at it here. We'll look at the fine print in a second. Uh, we've got Urko, General Urko, Gorilla, Dr. Zayas, the orangutan, Galen, Chimpanzee, Looks very much like Caesar or uh, uh, Roddy McDowell's character, Cornelius. Planet of the Apes on both sides. Have a lot of the pictures on there, so no matter which way you're looking, you can see it. On the bottom here, it's imprinted by the company that made it. Hard to see. There we go. Deca Plastic. New Jersey. And the USA. Inside like that. This one has a bit of wear. It's got a plastic uh, seal decal or whatever sticker, whatever you want to call it, that goes all the way around. And that's helping hold it together. So I believe this one has some cracks. And lastly, we'll look at the details that they have here and I'll explain what you're seeing. It says 1967 Apjack Productions, which is true, Inc. and 20th Century. Fox Film Corporation. That's the date when the, they first started to make the first Planet of the Apes movie with Charlton Heston that came out in 1968. Uh, that is not the date that this is from. This goes with, especially with the Galen, that's the clue. This is from the early to mid 1970s. So this came out right as the, the movies were ending and then they had uh, a live action TV show that was short lived, and then they also had a Saturday morning cartoon. So, this is what this is more geared to. But it's from the 1970s, and this is the 2020s. In a few years, this will be 50 years old, and the original movies are going to be coming up on 60. Everything from the 1960s having its 60th anniversary uh, in this decade. Very cool. Love the gorilla, orangutan, and chimpanzee. The new movies were fine, but I always have a special place for the, the f first five, especially uh, the first one, the third one, and then the fourth one was pretty good. I didn't really like the fifth one that much, and the second one was just okay. And then don't forget, like, what was that, 2001 or 2002 with... Uh, Marky Mark, that mo that movie wasn't that bad either. That standalone Planet of the Apes movie. The new ones were fine. And they had much better, uh, well, not better, but uh, technically better, because the computer graphics and so forth uh, over the, the actors, the motion capture. But I have a good place in my heart for all the makeup and that they did. I think that was John Chambers had something to do with that on the, or was the, the lead on that for the makeup for Planet of the Apes which at the time was brown, brown baking for their masks and everything. So a very cool item. Pop culture collectible. Planet of the Apes cereal bowl. Could have that and watch the cartoon on Saturday mornings. Alrighty. Until next time. Thanks for watching everybody.